<laughs> That's what these guys are here for. They're to help me wake up in the morning. But how do you wake up in the morning? That's the question. You see, I know how I wake up in the morning. I have my coffee. Generally speaking, when I come out here, I've been up sometimes only 15, 20 minutes, maybe even 10 minutes. And I have a choice each day that I wake up of how I'm going to set my day and respond to my day and how I'm going to wake up. Because you see, some people, like my wife, thinks I wake up like this. <laughs> joy, 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 joy. <laughs> it's like, ah! Imagine waking up to that. Disgusting, wouldn't it be? <laughs> or, if you suddenly woke up to that, you might realize, well, that might be a goal. I'm not sure. It also might be unattainable. Because you see, my wife's more like this. She kind of wakes up like, I am not doing morning. It's too early. But she gets up, gets cleaned up, and as we like to say, gets fixed up. <laughs> and heads out on her day. Well, to do and to will what God has given her to do. And then there's me. I kind of wake up like this most of the time. Can you tell? It's got the same hairstyle. And at moments I'm happy. <laughs> and at moments I'm not. <laughs> but what I do, as opposed to what most people do, is I choose to change the way I wake up to the way I approach my day by taking it to God in a simple way. Because I feel like this pretty quick, but I look like this most of the time. So what God does for me is he brings me to a realization that it's my choice. I can have the joy of the Lord, or I can have and allow the circumstances of my day to run my day, that it can run me into the ground. Or I can ask God to fill my day with himself so that he can show me the way that I should go so that I might have a better day. I might enjoy it in a simple way. I might find myself content with what comes my way today. Because every day that you're alive, you have the opportunity to be happy, be sad, be in love, be out of love. You have the ability within your own mind, literally, to choose which direction you're going to go. God spoke to the children of Israel and said, Choose you this day whom you will serve. And Every day we have that choice. Will we serve ourselves and make ourselves happy? Some people buy coffee, some people buy, you know, taking a hot shower, cleaned up, and then sometimes forgetting God and going out in the world on their way. Or will you choose to walk with God today and see what He would have for you? Sometimes it might be challenging with God. Sometimes it might be a struggle with God. But in everything that you do with God, He's promised that there would be a confidence, a continual faith you could have in Him, a trust, as it were, that He will lead you, that He will guide you, that He will provide for you, that He will be with you as one who loves you. Now, how you respond to love is your choice. Makes me happy. <laughs> So I hope today that as you go your way, you realize that it's not always that I wake up as, or you do either, but because God is in you, you choose how to respond to your day, and you don't let the day dictate to you what it's going to be. In daily light, thou art all fair, my love, there is no spot in thee. 
the whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. But from the sole of the foot even unto the head there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. We are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. You are washed, you are sanctified, you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. The King's daughter is all glorious within, perfect through my comeliness which I had put on upon thee, saith the Lord God. Let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. These are they which have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but holy and without blemish, you are complete with him. Today, as every day, the choice to allow God to work in a simple way in your life is for you to make. He will cause you to be seen as holy, perfect, and blameless today, if you're walking in him. But if you choose to go your own way, then the decisions are yours to make. Broken cisterns can hold no water. Eve bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Go to, let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach into heaven. The Lord scattereth them. Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan. It was well and watered everywhere, even as the garden of the Lord. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. I made me great works. I builded me houses and I planted me vineyards. I gathered me also silver and gold. Then I looked on all and behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Set your affection on things above and not on things of the earth. As we looked at, every day when you do wake up, it's your choice to make the direction you shall go. The direction of a man's heart is his own, but the footsteps are ordered of the Lord. How you respond to your life and your circumstances is your choice to make. When you allow God in your life, he helps you to choose the direction you will go. And you'll find that as he leads you step by step every day of your life, you'll find, like we showed in this little guy, <laughs> some joy in the midst of your day, though there may be challenges along the way. But you'll find that you have a friend, you have a living God, you have the person of Jesus Christ himself alive and at work in you, causing you to see things in a different way, to not react to the day and let it dictate to you what to do, but rather you'll find that you can choose your response accurately and intensely personal with him to not be ruled by the day, but to rule the day with him because you really have the ability with God letting you participate with him what he has in store for you to find a more excellent way to enjoy today. What you're going to find is based on love. So today, when he speaks to you, listen, it's kind of fun to go it his way as opposed to our way.